Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 2, number 122. And here we were given a table of data and asked if any outliers were present in the data. So you can see my variable is in L1, right? The number of paperbacks book, paperback books that these adults had read in that month. My frequencies are in L2. And I know they asked us for outliers, and I want to get to that in a moment. But also, I just want to finish this table out in L3, or I, I want the relative frequencies because you can see that blank table in your book. I'm going to put it into L3. And I want you to take note that right now, and I, I know I'm using the calculator app, but take note that L3 has the yellow background. I'm not in the first cell. I don't want to be here. I want to be up in L3. And so if I have my frequencies in L2, and I want to go from frequency to relative frequency, I need to take every data value in L2 and divide it by the sample size. And they, if you're not sure how many folks were in your sample, add up all of these frequencies that are in L2. So if I want to do that real quick, I would hit second in stat, I would go to math, I would hit option five, which is sum, and then I would say, hey, can you just sum L2 for me? So it looks like we had 119 adults in our sample. And that's just going to help me when I want to convert my data. And let me get there. When I want to convert my data in L2 from frequency to relative frequency. So I'm going to define L3, and I'm going to go in here and clear this out. I'm going to define it to be L2 divided by 119. And when I hit enter, those numbers are going to auto-populate. So there they are. All right, so if I wanted to finish the table out, there it is. But that wasn't what was asked of us. They said, hey, can you find outliers? Well, anytime I want to find outliers, I need to build a safety zone. If I want to build a safety zone, I've got to start with my IQR. So let me go back to my home screen. If I want to find my IQR, I just need to run one var stats. So let's do stat, go to calc option one. Now my variable is in L1, but I have frequencies in L2. And when you have a frequency list, you need to, in your one bar stats command, hit comma L2. You need to weight the values of your variable by those frequencies. So once I have that, let me hit enter. And we'll just take note that Q1 was 1 and Q3 was 4. And then I'm going to build that. And also, I'll, I'll keep track of my min and my max. But I'm going to use that to build out my IQR. So let me go back to my notebook. And let's take a look. Here we are. You can see... In the solutions, we've kind of gotten, we, we worked through this on the calculator and here it is on the actual homework solutions. So let me scooch this a bit and let's start to figure out the outlier information. So again, my Q3 was four, my Q1 was one. So there I go with my IQR, right? And then my IQR is three. And then in building that safety zone, the next thing you wanna do is take that number three and multiply it by 1.5. That gets me to 4.5. And then like always, we subtract whatever that number is in step two, we subtract it from Q1, but add it to Q3. So as I look at that, here is my safety zone, right? My lower bound is negative 3.5 and my upper bound is 8.5. And when I check this against my min and max, I'm going to see if I have any outliers. So take a look, my min is zero, all right? Zero is in the safety zone, so I have no outliers on the low end. But now let's take a look at my max, nine. Nine is outside of my safety zone, all right? So I do have an outlier, and I might even have more. I'd need to go check. But if you look, the next value or next lowest, excuse me, value of our, your variable was seven, and seven is safe, so that's fine. But because our max was nine, that falls outside the safety zone, so we do have an outlier on the high side of the data. All right, thanks so much, everyone.